Hi, I'm Josh Kirschenbaum, and welcome to Territorial Seed Company's Trial Grounds. Anyone that knows me knows that I always say that fresh picked produce directly from your garden tastes so much better than the stuff that you can buy at a grocery store. And that is certainly the case when it comes to root crops. Now, when I say root crops, I'm talking about such vegetables as beets or carrots or parsnips or radishes. These are things that can all be planted throughout the spring and harvested in the summer, or you can also plant them at the end of the summer and harvest them in the fall and early winter. And then if you live in a mild area, like here in the Northwest, you can actually harvest them throughout the entire winter and the early spring. Another great thing about root crops is, is that they definitely prefer to be planted directly into the soil instead of getting transplanted. So there's no transplanting involved. Just plop the seeds in the soil. So here's just a few tips to ensure success at planting your root crops. First and foremost, you want to have really nice, good, loose, aerated soil. Here at our trial grounds, we actually incorporate some nice compost into the soil before we plant our root crops. The next thing that you want to make sure of when you're planting the actual seeds, I'm going to show you. See how small these carrot seeds are? So after I plant them, I'm just going to plant a few down here to show you what I'm talking about. I just kind of sprinkle them lightly. It's really important to only lightly cover it because you saw how small those seeds were. You don't want to cover it very heavily. You just want to very lightly cover it. One of my favorite things to use when I'm planting carrot seeds is to sprinkle some vermiculite over it because that'll help make sure that the soil won't get crusted over and prevent the seeds from germinating. Another thing that you can use is a light coating of compost or if you want, just lightly cover the seed with the soil from the garden. Now something like beet seeds or radishes, there's a little bigger seed and you can cover them a little heavier, but you still want to make sure not to cover the seed more than like a half an inch when it comes to the beets and the radishes. Lastly, it is really, really important to make sure that the soil stays very moist until the seed germinates. And it might take up to a week or two before these seeds start germinating, but you need to make sure to keep the seed bed nice and moist. Now, one other really important thing is that I find not to fertilize too much when it comes to your root crops. I don't know if any of you have ever grown a carrot before and seen it all mangly or it looks like it's from outer space. That could be just because it's from too much nitrogen. So what I tend to do is usually just use the compost that I put in at the beginning of the season and that's sufficient for the entire year. Now for more information on how to grow root crops as well as all the different varieties that we have to offer, make sure to check out our catalog or visit our website, territorialseed.com. Mm, it is definitely worth your efforts.